Minutes ago, astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope discovered a galaxy in the Orion Nebula that is a trillion times more massive than our Sun and ten times bigger than the Milky Way. This is just one of six gigantic galaxies found, and they're so ancient they appeared only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, way faster than we ever thought possible. Just out. James Webb Telescope detects a structure that should not exist. Could everything we thought we knew about the Dark Ages be wrong? Let us dive into what these mind-blowing discoveries could mean for our story of the cosmos. Cosmic Giants in the Orion Nebula? The galaxies that look like six bright red dots in space are some of the oldest and largest galaxies we've ever seen dating back nearly 13.3 billion years. These galaxies formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, which is much faster than we thought possible. Until now, experts believe that it took much longer for such massive cosmic structures to develop. But here they are, already enormous and full of new stars shortly after the universe's birth. One of these galaxies is especially surprising. It's a trillion times more massive than our Sun and ten times larger than the Milky Way. This immense size and mass so early in the universe's history suggest that the so-called dark ages of the cosmos might have been more active and bright than we once thought. But that's not all. Astronomers are also looking at an exoplanet named K2-18, which might have the right conditions for life. The James Webb Space Telescope found water vapor in its atmosphere and detected molecules like methane and carbon dioxide. These molecules, along with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and possible water oceans, make it a good candidate for life. Even more interesting, they found dimethyl sulfide, a compound usually produced by living organisms on Earth, hinting that this exoplanet could indeed support life. Expanding our knowledge further, Astronomers have also found a remarkable alignment of galaxies. Just 830 million years after the Big Bang, 10 galaxies were found lined up like beads on a string. This surprising discovery gives us a visual snapshot of our universe's early days and challenges our current ideas about how galaxies form and arrange themselves. These findings by the James Webb Space Telescope are changing how we see the universe. Each discovery not only adds to our cosmic story, but also changes what we know about the universe's origins and early development. The implications are huge, suggesting that the universe's earliest periods were far more dynamic and complex than we previously thought. But this isn't the end of the surprises. With each new discovery, we are reminded of how little we know and how much there is still to learn. The universe continues to amaze us, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and inspiring a sense of wonder. The cosmic structure we're talking about spans over three million light years and is centered around a super bright quasar, a galaxy with a massive black hole at its core. This fascinating line of galaxies might eventually form a giant galaxy cluster, similar to the well-known Coma Cluster. In the early universe, supermassive black holes already existed. These massive cosmic objects grow by absorbing nearby stars' gas and dust. The James Webb Space Telescope has shown us these huge black holes from the universe's early days, capturing images from when they had just started devouring their surroundings. Interestingly, it has also seen the farthest black hole ever detected in X-rays, located in a galaxy named UHZ-1. This black hole is an incredible 13.2 billion light-years away from Earth, so we see it as it was just 470 million years after the Big Bang. Its mass is estimated to be between 10 million and 100 million times that of our Sun, which is amazing considering this is like the combined mass of all the stars in its galaxy. Let's dive deeper into space, to see more wonders beyond our solar system. The Luminous Edge of the Horsehead Nebula? Closer to us, the Horsehead Nebula, or Barnard 33, is about 1300 light-years away from Earth. With the James Webb Telescope, 
Astronomers have been able to see the small-scale structures at the lit-up edge of this nebula for the first time. The nebula shines because of light from a nearby hot star, even though it formed from a collapsing interstellar cloud. While the surrounding gas clouds have mostly scattered, its famous pillar-like shape remains due to denser material. However, it's estimated to last only another 5 million years before it starts to fade. These advanced observations help astronomers understand how dust particles are pushed away from the cloud by UV light, creating intricate patterns in space. Then, there's the aftermath of a supernova in the constellation of Copia, about 11,000 light years away, which exploded around 3,140 years ago. The remnants are still visible, fascinating astronomers with the warm dust crucial for planet formation and the birth of life. This dust, made of heavy elements like sulfur, oxygen, argon, and neon, was expelled during the supernova. It glows in beautiful orange and pink colors, giving us a rare look into the building blocks of the universe. In the vastness of space, tiny fragments cut through the gas, looking like cosmic bullet holes. This isn't just a cool visual, it's also important scientifically. We see something called light echoes, which happen when light from a supernova is absorbed and then re-emitted as infrared light by nearby cosmic material. Far away in the Serpent's Nebula, about 1300 light years from Earth, there's a huge area where new stars are born. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has spotted some fascinating things here. One of the discoveries is jets of gas from young stars, which are uniquely aligned in a way we've never seen before. Another interesting find is the Bat Shadow, a planet-deforming disk that looks like a flapping bat. In our Milky Way galaxy, the telescope's near-infrared camera has given us the clearest image yet of the Sagittarius A region. This area is about 300 light years from the galaxy's supermassive black hole. The image shows about 500,000 stars and some strange, needle like structures in ionized hydrogen that don't fit with current astronomical theories. There's also a cluster of young stars still forming, adding more mystery to the list of celestial wonders. In the Orion Nebula, around 1350 light years away, a new type of celestial body called jumbos has been found. These are free-floating planetary mass binary systems, meaning they are pairs of objects with masses ranging from 0.6 to 14 times that of Jupiter. They aren't tied to any star and drift freely in space. Astronomers used the Carl G. Jansky Very Large Array to study one of these systems, known as Jumbo 24, using radio waves. This shows how modern astronomy is revealing amazing new details about our universe. We picked up steady signals from both parts of a binary star system. This was surprising because big stars usually don't form or stay in pairs. It's amazing to think about the huge forces at play in keeping such a pair together in the vastness of space. The focus then shifted to the complex process of star formation. Scientists have always found it hard to study how stars are born because these events happen in thick clouds of gas and dust that block visible light. But the James Webb Telescope changed everything. It can see infrared light, which goes through these dusty clouds, letting us see details of star formation we never saw before. Our space journey now shows us how stars are born and evolve. The dance of gas and stars in Rho Ophiuchi. For example, the Rho Ophiuchi cloud complex, only 390 light years away, has been observed in great detail. The telescope captured a frozen moment of a stellar explosion, showing around 50 young stars, many of which are about the same size as our Sun. Without the James Webb telescope, these stars would have stayed hidden like looking at a blank, black picture. The telescope also found dozens of young, small stars shooting out fast streams of gas and particles. These streams light up the surrounding hydrogen clouds, giving us more clues about how stars form. Then, there's the Ring Nebula, or M57, 
located in the Lyra constellation about 2,500 light years away. The James Webb Telescope gave us amazing new details. It showed that the ring has about 20,000 clumps of molecular hydrogen and the inside is full of superhot gas. The nebula's main shell has a thin ring of carbon-based molecules called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which make it glow beautifully. Astronomers also found 10 rings outside the main ring of the nebula. They think these rings were made by a dying star's gas interacting with a smaller companion star. As the smaller star moved through the gas, it created ripples, showing us how dynamic and lively these celestial features are. In 2023, a groundbreaking discovery was made, a distant galaxy named Jade's GSE 14. This galaxy is notable not just for its distance, but also for its unexpected brightness. Usually, galaxies this far away aren't so bright, making this discovery very important for our understanding of the universe. This galaxy pushes the limits of what we know about the structure and formation of galaxies at the edge of the observable universe. GSC 130 came into being about 320 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy, however, existed even before that, spanning a vast 1600 light years across. The light we see from it isn't due to a supermassive black hole, but shines brightly because of young stars. This galaxy has a mass several hundred million times that of our Sun. Plus, the presence of oxygen in its light shows that many massive stars have lived and died long before we ever noticed this cosmic giant. In another part of the universe, scientists found a new planet called Toy 7115, 